don't know what it's uh, almost on point. Oh wow. Hey everyone. Ah, way too high. How are you doing today? It's Guillaume and Chris. Yes. Uh, this is Thomas Guitars and Basses, and we are um, we are blessed with some uh, fire mist. Celebrating. Love. We're celebrating today. Um, uh, this is uh, Harley Benton's 25th han birthday han anniversary. 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 And uh, and so today we're checking out all the brand new uh, models that came out for this very very special occasions, and we're taking you along for the ride. Welcome to this live stream. Hi everyone. We've got some uh, we've got some uh, regulars. Uh, Krena is here. Hi. Amanda is here. Hi Amanda. Paul Dogdale. How are you, Paul? Um, Thanks for joining us. Hugo Lopez so cool. is there. We've got. Oh my goodness. Wait. Am I in the right? Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> I can't. That, the laptop doesn't laptop anymore. All right, I'll have to follow them live again. Um, <laughs> While you're fixing your live chat. Um, yeah. We oh, did not... Uh, wait, I'm noisy. Yeah. Uh, we do not have the JA model here, which is something yeah. I just realized, which is too bad because I was really looking forward to trying that one out. But hey, uh, the guitars are brand new. A lot of people already grabbed them and there are some in stock which are in the QC department right yeah. now are being checked and when they're done, yep. they will go in the store and you can get them. So don't worry if you uh, see that they're like sold out or whatever, they are here and they, you know, new shipments are arriving. The QC is here in the Tolman village. So it needs some time until they go through the new shipment and uh, put them in their, you know, spots in the warehouse where you can actually see them and order them. And uh, that's gonna be a thing. So don't worry about it. We don't have the JA here and we don't have the bases here and we don't have the lefties here because there are lefties of all of these models and bases. And what everything. he's been trying to say is that if it ain't in the link in description, it doesn't exist. <laughs> if it is yes. there, but it's not in stock, it will be. Yes, so and if you're uh, watching there that... is a link in the description too. Yes, yeah. yes. so uh, check out that link if you're watching that video in the future. I hope it's all right. And, uh, and uh, also, yeah, everything is in the link in the description below. There will be a lot of these guitars. So if some of them are not available right here, right now, do not freak out. They will come back and they will be available throughout the year, which is the concept for these. They are marked as limited. They are limited throughout 2023. Uh, not in quantity or anything, like as many as you want to order. All of them, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's happening in your house, but uh, <laughs> if you, you know, uh, they're limited to this year, but there will be uh, plenty of them. Enough for yeah. everyone. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to point out that there are lefties and there are basses. We don't have them here now because uh, we are not good at playing bass or lefties, <laughs> but they exist. So, uh, in case you, you are into one of those things, uh, don't worry. Get yes. covered. Um, we got some people from uh, Sweden. Whoa! Uh, Clever P. I'm sorry. I, I know. Melanie is here. Hi, Melanie. How are you doing? Grüße aus Hessen. Oui. Hi back, Hessen. Hey. Uh, Central Iowa. Iowa. Wow. I. My goodness. Iowa. How are you, how are you doing? <laughs> um, where are the Crazy. bases? On the website. Check out the link in the description. Um, but um. Pff. Yeah, uh, so yeah. we didn't want to butcher basses because, you know, we like playing them, but we ain't too good playing them. And uh, we don't have a bass host here today, so check the link. Will they be available at the Harley Benton US store? Most likely. 100% sure. Why wouldn't they? Exactly. Why them? wouldn't they? Then again, we don't right, have Mr. the Benton? information, but we'll make sure that Mr. Benton puts some of them on the Harley Benton US <laughs> store. Uh, go check it out just in case. Stephen Powell, greetings from Florida. How is it? Uh, how is it going in Florida? How is a? Uh, I'm not. No, let's not ask about the the W question. Otherwise, we'll be talking about this for the the whole live stream. Hello from Estonia, from India. Oh my wow. goodness! Wow! No Edgar, way. David, That's how are you awesome. guys? Hello from Scotland with Steve Cassidy. Steve Cassidy guitar. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. Um, I love your accent. I would love to be able to. Reproduce some reproduce good a, a, Scottish, a solid accent. Scottish accent. I yeah. love it. Oh my gosh. Uh, is the ST going to be available again? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I think the next shipment should be there in four to five weeks max. Like including, uh, you know, uh, check the website. Uh, the website will tell you. It, it knows way more than I do. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, you are really prepared, dude. Like, you know things. Yeah, I... no, I think I've seen, like, uh, you know, uh, restock times along those lines. Hello from Greece. Hello from Belgium. Charlottesville, Virginia. Great. Wow. Oh, um, 
Uh, that is, that, that's, that's a, a pleasure to have you all here today. So we'll be going through the different models that we have in the room, go through some specs. If you guys have any requests as to, we want that guitar, that pickup, that pedal, a exactly. lot of gain, not a lot of gain. Let us hear what they sound like without pedals. We can try. Wow. Well, At least true. with not fewer true. pedals. We're, um, we're cool with clean as long as reverb is in, involved in exactly, the process. Exactly. No, reverb clean doesn't... Clean uh, that hurts. <laughs> Reverb doesn't, uh, doesn't, no, it doesn't come off that one, it's, it's just on. It doesn't really count, it's just... I removed the bypass button from my Reverb. <laughs> yeah. um, any, uh, any seven, eight or nine strings for the new guitar? Not for these models. No, these are just uh, anniversary of the very standard models that Harley Benton offers in a new finish with a, a, a serious bump up in specs. Oh yes. Uh, we'll talk about that, yeah. Um, but yeah, traditional models, uh, of course, you're free to, to roam the lands of Harley Benton in seven, eight and nine strings. There are uh, a few interesting offerings in there as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, Canada here. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the, let's, let's start with yours. Yours, yours spready, yes. it's T-shaped, yes, so we yes. all... Uh, it does everything. We're all happy about this. Uh, yeah, this is the Fusion T uh, model, and it's the anniversary model, so on the headstock you will have the anniversary logo on all these. Um, even the, the classic ones like the SC, but of course, also on the, uh, the Fusion models, this is a Fusion T with two humbuckers with Tesla. Tesla humbuckers. humbuckers yeah. So um, you will see the superchargers everywhere, and uh, you know, it doesn't have to do anything with that Tesla. Uh, but these are really, <laughs> really good uh, sounding pickups. I'm really hyped to, to see them in this one and in the uh, HSS uh, Strat shaped uh, Fusion as well, the normal Fusion 3. The St. Um, the st the st uh, so let's, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Work is in tram. I don't have the tram bar here, but I can try to wiggle it a little bit. But uh, Hey, it uh, does it does wiggle if you have the yeah. bar in it. Sorry, it seems like I missed that. Marcos was uh, from I do not how I do not know how to pronounce that. Marcos is from Florida, and Marcos is with us. Hi, and Amanda just wanted to feel included by saying she was coming from Canada, and of course <laughs> I was just I was jesting. You want to see them countries? I was barely jesting, Amanda. Of course. Um, yeah, give us some sounds with that. I'll uh, I'll keep gathering locations of people in the yes, chat, and yes. I'll, uh... and then we can start talking about the weather. Yeah, as usual. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I give you the the most expensive chord that I ever discovered. Oh, it's so... a cool it's a cool one. Yeah, brace yourselves. <laughs> and also, I'll fade it in because why wouldn't you?
Uh, yeah. It sounded great, man. It uh, sounded great. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really digging these Teslas. They, uh, they do have a very lively, open humbucker sound, which is something that I usually miss with humbuckers. I'm used to single colors, so it's my, my bad, obviously. Yeah. But I really want them to be like exciting, clean as well, not, not just distorted. Because, I mean, obviously with the, uh, the Archer and the Toxic Twins on, the Castillo Toxic Twins, together for the high gain sound at the end, I mean, humbuckers will always do that. So it's, that's cool. But um, I love the clean tones too. Um, even without cold splitting, it didn't sound too, too warm or too uh, mid-humpy or anything. Yeah, dig no, it. I, I, it. I, I, Big I, neck on this one. Absolutely, can dig the right? sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Solid neck on the fusions. In your hand, the right? fusions are pretty uh, a, a like thick. A, thick. Just double C, regular thick. Yeah, it's it's, it's a nice. double C. It's really comfortable to play, but it feels like a fifty-nine neck. If you yeah. know what I mean? Not not yeah, the yeah, hugest yeah. baseball. It's not like a a ridiculously overdone something, but it's a nice and full C. Absolutely loving. It's uh, more, yeah. It's option. the, it's the, it's a nice fusion shape. The the T S T and S C have the more traditional uh, and not, yeah, not traditional, but like thinner uh, yeah. neck profile. Very comfortable as well. Uh, all right, so they came from everywhere today. We have Eric from Louisville, Kentucky. We've got Marcos from Florida. Again, I, I already said hi to you. Hi, hi, Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Steve, Steve Cassidy was saying the, the volume pot works, y'all. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it does. And on all of them, which is immense, really. Matt from Ireland, where the weather is, of course, cold and rainy. Very sorry <laughs> to hear that. Not surprised, just sorry. That's why it's so green there. You know, yeah, that's no it. No rain. That's it. It's gonna you, be got, you got the green lands. Uh, <laughs> Gecko saying, the one I wanted was already sold out yes but which they one? will come back yeah let us uh, know which one you wanted and maybe we can play it extra for you even the ones that are marked as sold out or taken off the website those are just measures taken to not pile up on pre-orders yeah. because there might already be 60 100 whatever pre-orders on a specific model and the next shipment is barely going to cover that so for that we'll take it off the website for a little while ship that one and then when we get the next one it'll be back online all right so even if it's marked as sold out don't freak out yeah hey. it's a uh, it's just some safety measures to avoid absolute chaos absolutely yeah uh, um, which makes sense but they'll be back yeah yeah um so wait i missed uh I missed some, uh, uh, maybe you sell me that one, the one I'm holding. Yeah, yeah, it will be back on the website uh, shortly. Don't worry about it. And I'll be back in, uh, in stock as well. I missed some more. We had some people from Bulgaria. I saw the uh, nice. Pavlin. Um, Steve was saying, please demo the lanyard. Uh, the what? It's the, the lanyard, the, the, the batch that comes with the, the gig bag. Ah. Like, that, that come. Yeah, you're getting like a special treatment. The, the gig bags are not in the room. The guitars were opened way out. So the gig bags and the lanyards are over there. Uh, they are, however, gig bags and lanyards. Good quality ones, but gig bag. Uh, like, I don't know. How, how would you demo one? <laughs> gig bag? Like, no, Can you play the, a G, just the G lanyard, major? Just the, <laughs> just the lanyard. <laughs> it clips and it unclips beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bonjour de Montpellier, bonjour Felicien. Um, so, uh, yeah, a lot of questions about availability. Please do check the link in the description. And if it's marked out of stock or sold out or whatever, it will come back. Uh, it's not limited in that way. Uh, all right, Marcos is from Florida. He just said it again. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> Three times. Think oh my is, goodness. Are is, you, is that, was it Florida? Yeah. Like okay. the, the Florida pride. That's probably, <laughs> that's probably where that comes. Hugo, I think he's, Hugo is saying, I wonder if Marcus is from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Okay. Uh, uh, let, me, let me walk you through the specs here real yeah. short. It's and not then, a lot. And then we have a couple of requests for sounds on this one. Oh yeah, sure. Before we skip sure. on the other one. It's, it's uh, not our... Not that different compared to normal fusion ones because the normal fusion ones, the fusion tees, already come with a crazy spec list, so it's it's not crazy new. Um, locking tuners, of course, caramelized, so baked maple flamed maple neck and boards. Um, this is a Niato body, Niato. which Niato. is a mahogany type of uh, of um, exotic wood, uh, really lightweight which is really cool, very nice uh, to, to hold these. Uh, Wilkinson trimmed the one that the 52K or whatever it's called, 52K. 
Yes, yeah. the 52K, uh, which is very stable. These uh, Fusion models come with this tram. I own one and I can actually use it and don't have to retune the guitar all the time, which is, uh, yeah, which is exactly how a tremolo should be and it's not always the case. Um, there's a coil split on the tone pot for um, splitting the, the two humbuckers and a three-way toggle and the volume. Super simple, but does exactly what it should. And uh, the finish is the uniqueness again in the in the visuals. Yes, um, that's that's this uh, fire mist gold, and you get a almost little, like uh, a bronze color if you ask me. Yeah, it's, it's darker on these than on the normal models, um, and and matte, which is you know, yeah. uh, those look a little more red to me, like even more bronze. It comes, like, it pops out more be because the, of the white guards as well, and yeah. uh, also I'm sorry, I put my grubby fingers all over this one. <laughs> uh, it looks clean otherwise. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. It's cool. So what was the, the tone request with this one? Uh, the tone request was to have some clean uh, split uh, sounds. Okay. Uh, I'll Please go through the, the three uh, positions. Yeah. Okay, all split. And you will get reverb because I'm sorry. Don't be. I am not. <laughs> uh, what should I play? I have a blackout. Let's see what happens with um, something B. Something in B. Sure. Nine. The Chris Nine. The yeah. Chris Nine. I um, always play the chord. Should stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a, it's a coil coil split sound. If you're into that, it, you will like it. If you are used to actual single coils, it will sound different. It's just it's just the nature of things. Um, yeah. If no, you like I, an older modern uh, sort of um, uh, what's his name, uh, Polyphia, uh, Tim Henson's, and all those uh, guitar players, they all use split sounds. So you. If you like that, this this can get there. Yeah. Put some compression, slight drive on it, and Steve Steve is happy with the the split sounds, so that's good. Um, we had a couple of questions. One of them being uh, the weight. The weight, uh, and we had two questions uh, regarding that. One, someone asking for the weight of these guitars, which we could give you. I can grab the. Uh, we have the scale somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and Igriog, which I think is George backwards, uh, <laughs> McDonald's, saying, uh, due to logistical reasons, we're not able to weigh the bases, is the answer that he got from the yeah. uh, Toman customer service. And that's absolutely right. Yeah. The, the problem with that is that there are many, many, many of those guitars coming in and out of stock, and they are all uh, checked put back and then obviously ordered, shipped, all of that good stuff. The thing is, uh, we could wait one, but well, we don't know if that's the one you're going to get. Uh, it's uh, it's not referenced in that way, so we can't give you an accurate representation of what you what the what instrument you are going to get exactly. We can give you a ballpark, but there will be variations in wood, in wood density from one part of the same tree to the other. Yeah. There's going to yeah. be a way different. So we'll give you uh, guys a little bit of an idea. That will put you in the ballpark, but again, there might be a same guitar that's much heavier, much lighter. Yeah. This is not a custom shop for 5K, <laughs> so they will not be weight selected. Wood is wood, you'll, you'll get what you get. Uh, but this can be sort of a, a, a reference in yeah. a way, and you have to put plus minus 500 grams easily to this weight, because that's, 
that's how crazy sometimes is with uh, with wood, even the same species. So yeah, absolutely. Um, Ahmed is asking how low can the action get? It can go to zero. <laughs> it won't ring very well, <laughs> but the action can go to zero. Um, uh, uh, yeah, it depends. Wait, it depends really. We, yeah, I mean, we are looking at. I'm just going to check if it's in inches on the uh, the English website. No, fingerboard radius. It's three or five millimeters. Do you know what that means in uh, inches? I cannot. Possibly. I'm, what do you think that is? Twelve? Ten? What uh, is it? The, the radius? radius. Uh, I th uh, it, oh. Nine and a half? No, Ten? it's, no, flatter no, no. it's always that, right? flatter. Yeah. At least twelve. Okay. Yeah. At least twelve. So 12, that's fourteen or sixteen. That's uh, about as low. Bandages. That's about as low an action as you can get. Like if the the, the radius is flat, it'll, you'll be able to take the strings way down without yeah. having buzz out like fret out problems on your bends and that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So they can be set up for a very very low and very modern type yeah. of playing. Uh, Wait a second. Let me weigh this thing. Oh, Stephen. Uh, Stephen is saying that three or five millimeter is twelve inches. Thank you yeah, very exactly. much, yeah, Stephen. That's, so that's how they feel. Thanks. Uh, Thanks yeah. All right. Let's do this. Wait. I am pretty sure you will not be able to read this, but uh, we'll try. And don't freak out. He knows what he's doing. We'll see. Also, if he's breaking it, that's. Yeah, on I'll his, pay. Uh, I'll pay for it. Dude, three point two kilograms. Three point two. That's. Wait. Wait. I'm giving you. Hi. This is uh, pounds, 7.2 pounds. 7.2 pints. Oh, pints. Pints. Yeah. <laughs> we in, in now in Newton, uh, 32 well, Newtons. It is Monday. <laughs> uh, yeah, can you can you get this one just can for grab this one? just for reference? Yep. Wait. I'll give you guys the weight of two T types. Ooh. Uh, just an average or estimated uh, weight would be nice. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's an estimated. That's that's, one. that's what we're doing. We're estimating. <laughs> Three point four kilograms yeah. on this one, which is going to be seven and a half. Yeah, seven point six pounds. Yeah, that's the pig guard. Yeah, that's the <laughs> the more the more T style T with the T style pickups. Yeah. Um, I said 3.2 in another video once that I win it. <laughs> hey, <nope>. you wish. <laughs> nice try, though. Sorry. Uh, okay, let, can we move on to your next guitar? Maybe. Yeah, could, yeah, we can. We can, can play absolutely that. do that. Wait. So is this? Uh, are you have your? Own? I've got my own amp. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're sweet. Him. Uh, how many lefties in the release? They're all available as lefties. Yeah. Every model that we have today and the ones that we don't have are available as lefties. The guitars are not limited, all basses are not limited in quantity. They're limited in time. So you can buy those 25th anniversary guitars this year. Okay, you've, got, you've got until December to buy them, basically. Uh, yeah, a typical Fender Telecaster weighs around seven to eight pounds. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's just about the same ballpark. It's in the ballpark, yeah. Totally. Um, so, uh, yeah, sorry, T-shaped object, number two. This is the T25H, so this is not part of the Fusion range. However, uh, it's got the Fusion sort of treatment. treatment yeah. uh, you got the, the spec bumps for the, uh, for the anniversary. So you do have now vintage style locking tuners, which is really, really sick, because like from the front, you wouldn't guess that it has locking tuners, which is awesome. So, uh, lock and tuners, same uh, caramelized, figured maple. Like this is this is very nice and stripy uh, maple neck. We have a um, a proper um, American Alder body oh, on it? those guitars. Okay. Yeah, 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 American Alder body. I think that is uh, still laurel uh, fretboard yeah. uh, material of sorts. <laughs> uh, we have the Roswell pickups as well as the upgrade in uh, electronics with CDS spots and Le no way stainless steel frets. Oh, okay, and CTS yeah. parts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow, they really thought of pretty much everything that I would, you know, upgrade on a, on a portable I think so. guitar. Wait, 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 I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Let me double check it. I mean, yeah, I have to. I'll have to double check on the on the uh, on the pots, but uh, the I mean, even frets. If they're are stainless steel, which is not the case on the ST62, like the traditional yeah, the normal ones, yeah. uh, models. So you get uh, stainless steel frets there, as well as uh, a little 25th anniversary yeah. thingy on the headstock, yeah. which is kind of cool. And Same honestly, finish. like the CTS parts, uh, this, like, what does one part cost? Like a CTS selected oh, part, yeah, like yeah, yeah, seven yeah, yeah. euros each. Yeah. So even if that's not the case, the, the, the frets are a much bigger deal, because if you wanted to upgrade your guitar to have stainless steel frets, that would cost you 
uh, what, 500 euros, about, Ish. four or 500, easily, yeah. in Germany at least. Uh, depends yeah. on your country, of course, how much luthiers will want from you, but that's an expensive upgrade. So, uh, yeah. Frankie, that's sweet. <laughs> Frankie boy, hi. Uh, wait, did I miss a giveaway? No, <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> um, all right, so I'll give you guys some sounds of the, uh, yeah, uh, T25, TH, T25th. Uh, through the Rev D20 and the Harley Benton cab with a ton of reverb. <laughs> and maybe a little bit of drive too. Uh. Sorry, I had to join in. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Tuners work ah. too. I know they do. I wish I'd made mine work before. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm really horrible at tuning by ear. I, like, Chris was just like, higher, higher. <laughs> so, yeah, anywho. Hi, Walid. Comment ça va? Hey, man. Um, nice, nice accompaniment entrance. 50 points. Thank you very much, Steve. Um, That's killer. The tune is similar to the intro. Of Narcos. I, I still haven't seen that show, but I, I, I'll take your word on it. Jeez, <laughs> um, so, nailing that solo, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, David. man. Dude, totally nailed it. Oh, come Love on. Love that little chromatic thingy. They're coming. Yeah, <laughs> like the... Oh, that was... <laughs> that was on the right spot, loved that. Uh, the ST62 has the same Rosewall pickups. That's a very good question. The, those pickups are marked as uh, TAB Alnico 5 Vintage for the bridge and uh, CR Alnico 5 for the neck. Uh, you might want to double check on the other product pages because I don't know if the 62 
C, R, and B. Yeah, they are the same uh, Roswell pickups. Uh, so the upgrades don't really lie here. They lie in the uh, gig bag, the lanyard, uh, the, the roasted uh, neck, roasted neck, the lock-in tuners, the stainless steel frets, and, and the, the fireman's super cool yeah. uh, finish. Uh, yeah, right. So that was the uh, that was the uh, S T. Uh, sorry, T. I'm so used to saying S. -T. You're right. <laughs> uh, the T uh, twenty five T H. And there's one thing I do not re recall seeing on the normal T models, the, uh, the blade switch. Look at the angle. It I, slants. I never paid attention to that. Because <laughs> if you, if I, if you, if we... Yeah, where, where is it? Oh, hell? it's over there. It's over there. It's hidden. Wait, let me, let me grab hidden. the other we one. Have, we, can... we have our studio, um, our studio T62 right there. In the correct finish. Oh, Peely is here. Hello. Dark Star, the Pizza Lake, yes. All over oh, the yeah, place, Pizza Lake. always yeah, yes, and yes, forever. Yes, yes. Yeah. So first of all, binding, which is yeah, something binding, that only yeah. the 62cc or whatever it's called, uh, the double bound hard event and had, this one doesn't. And uh, this one, the, if you look at the blade switch, this one is uh, parallel to the edge of the blade. And that one is slightly slant, which is something that you see on more modern T-style guitars. Yep. And uh, it should be more ergonomic because it's more natural for the arm movement when you go down with your pinky yeah. you can slam it in a in a more ergonomic angle i don't mind this one i i think i even prefer the straight one but i i'm so used to a traditional tally layout at this point that you know i don't i don't count i'm not the kind of person who should be asked how to revolutionize tallies because i will say yeah leave it as it is yeah but uh i totally get why so many people would want to have a slight angle and um that one has it. I honestly hadn't noticed until you pointed it out. So that like it's a good mod because it just makes sense and it doesn't it really, you know, yeah. um, feel um, unnatural or like surprising. Oh, um, Michael is here. Uh, studio, studio Kim, Kimiel. No Kimiel. way! Yeah, like, hey, how, dude. how are you doing, man? It's been a while. Oh my uh, gosh. Many years. Um, a relic. Need this in relic finish in acrylic uh since nitro Ooh. is still not legal in asian that 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 might be a lot to ask for i'm, I'm very sorry i'm not i don't know no, if that's happening anytime soon nitro uh, finishes uh yeah, yeah. no it's... or just relic you know uh, uh could be but the thing is that... Francky Vincent. Oui. Oui. <laughs> sorry i had to take that one uh um, nitro finishes not not really gonna happen in asia i think none of those countries where guitars are built for a more affordable price uh will want to deal with nitro cellos um not in korea in vietnam and china i think they it doesn't really as far as i can tell there are no companies that would produce the amount of guitars as like, yeah. you know, the Squires, the Hardy Bentons of this world, the Epiphones of this world uh, do. And uh, none of those factories will use nitro cellos for, I think, for that good reason, like uh, regulation. Uh, <laughs> but it's Paul, all right because... You Paul know, Cook was saying, Chris will relic one for you. No, <laughs> <laughs> I will only relic something that's finished with very thin nitro that peels off, like it wants to jump off the body. That's, uh, or the headstock. Oh, uh, did you see that? Oh no, that's nice. That's cool. Oh, right, keep it, keep it for, for later. I'll show you later. Um, otherwise, Relic just looks so wrong. It just looks like you tortured the guitar. Doesn't look any, uh, you know, natural, even though we can start arguing about relicking anyhow. <laughs> well, you know, uh, fat, but fat philosopher is saying that poly is better than nitro anyways. Uh, <laughs> well, it, it will stay newer and look newer yeah. for longer. If you're into that, of course, it's better. Sure. Uh, Rips, uh, this is a giveaway or I misunderstood? I think you misunderstood, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not a giveaway. You're just presenting the guitars right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, talking of which, I have a guitar here that you should have in your hands. But uh, No, hey. I, I love that we're doing something different today because I, I plan on playing my, my telly a lot more. So. He just bought pickups, I, electronics for his uh, T-style guitar. My T-style guitar, my parts caster. And um, he's going to be soldering this evening. So yeah. um, I should the, be at his place with a beer in my hand and the, just not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> clap. I'm starting the transition now. I'm uh, I'm turning 30 <laughs> this year, so time to uh, time to start picking up the the big boys Old man's guitar. <laughs> I got tea time for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, true. Okay, so uh, let me give you a couple of sounds, clean and distorted, with 
this baby, which is, I'm guessing, called the ST62? No, the ST25TH. That one. Yeah. Just ST and then the anniversary thing. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. 25th anniversary, same specs as the T-Style, I guess. Pretty much, Roseville pickups. This is a, a Sinclair-sized humbucker, which is cool, and you can split it. Uh, I'll do that. Sweet. And uh, this tremolo looks fancier than the regular one. Yeah. I'm not sure, I think. Because also has the, the block, the block uh, saddles, yeah, yeah. saddles instead of the vintage Two ones. Two point with the locking bar. Looks like a different one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. The bar. Uh, you we, mean, might, we might want to yeah. investigate on that one. Yeah, yeah. You do that. I play it, and well, then you I'm, say, I'm, I'm you gonna, say what I'm gonna is try. to be I'm said really, about it. I'm really horrible at finding things on. No, the, just I am, saying that on the internet. Wait, let me adjust my reverb. It's a little wild. I, did I you do just not. Well, give, give me a key. Give me a weird key. B flat minor. Thank you. I love that. I ran out of frets. <laughs> no, but you went, you went, you went down. That, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Uh, I'm afraid, uh, out of uh, excitement, I really have to <laughs> have to read through my uh, e string. Yeah, um, cool. It it's cool. It sounds nice. Uh, I was surprised how balanced the humbucker is with the others. Yeah. It's yeah, very it much like... mid-pushy, which is normal for HSS, but I was not sure if they will have like a, a similar volume and a, like a usable sort of balance, but it, it's, it's awesome. Let me give you once more just a, a bit of a, a drivey sound. Yeah. That's good, right? That's yeah, good. Thing. I mean, I know ages as guitars that are much less balanced than that. Oh, Daniel, thank you so them. much for 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 motivating people to like this live stream. Thank oh. you very much. We don't want to ask, you know, but come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's no, awesome. My bad. Uh, okay, did some research because you know references are hard. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> it is a different trend. On the standard yeah, right? ST62. Yeah, I remember them looking <coughs> much more vintagey than this one. Uh, when, also, it says Harley Benton. You do your thing. Bike, went down the other bike. <laughs> <laughs> you have anything to drink? Yeah. Um, you take a sip. And uh, uh, yeah, it, it has the Harley Benton logo on, on there too. It song, has the block. Song 2BS uh, 213, so two points with a locking trim bar and a block saddle. So. Yes, locking trim bar means that <laughs> you, you do your thing. Just pop it in. You repair your <laughs> throat. <laughs> the trim bar goes in here, and then uh, there's a little um, screw that you can tighten to 
lock that trim bar in there or just make it a little tighter that it doesn't wobble and kind of moves in a very smooth and pleasing way. So uh, that's awesome. Yeah, um, yeah. and two-point trim, which is more modern. Uh, wait, let me, let me see if it stays in tune. <coughs> Ooh, this is gonna be a hardcore test. It's I was not expecting that. No, me neither. It's, it's more like, stable than my Strat, which is much more expensive. I don't know. I blocked the tram on mine immediately. So, uh, yeah, okay, that's right. good. That's good. Oh, Mike is here. Um, hi, Bill, Chris, Amanda, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> hi, y'all. How you? How you going? Um, I uh, get us and squat nice here on my end of the YouTube says nice. 1960 custom shop. Uh, just see yes, we don't know if his last name is actually custom shop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, what else? Come on, you see CS, you know it's a custom shop. I, I love how surprised you looked when it stayed in tune. Well, no, yeah, I, I mean the the thing is like those guitars literally just came out of the box. Like we tuned them, I tuned them. Also, I did not even tune them. Also, yeah, I tuned them. So you know, it was already kind of a janky start <laughs> in life for those guitars. I tuned them, and uh, so that's quite impressive. Uh, no, price uh, and also you can actually spend a lot more money on a strat that's going to be awesome or any s style <clears throat> guitar of any brand really yeah. and those trams will work to a certain extent yeah, but it, if you do like the oh, if you completely don't abuse expect it too much. you know yeah, of course don't expect too much. uh even my voice has distortion <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's my clean sound by the way <laughs> um, <laughs> why can we turn off the reverb <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah um you just can't no. Yeah, I, I spy some flame going on the back of those necks. Yeah, all yeah, of them totally. are figured maple, so yeah, flaming. This is sick. Like, look at this. Yeah. Let's not jump to this guitar no, just wait, now, but. Oh, oh wait, yeah. This is the oh, crazy. oh, goodness. I almost revealed something. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no. But you should, you should do your thing. Yeah, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. This is the, uh, the SC 25TH, uh, which is uh, same vein as the T and ST25, so not the Fusion models, but the more traditional ones. So you get the traditional neck profile, but also a figured roasted maple uh, neck. This is Laurel, also I guess, Laurel, still, yeah. yeah, Dark Laurel, Fredbull, Laurel, Laurel. Laurel. It's about as hard to say as squ squirrel. 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 I hate that word. Squirrel. <laughs> I love the animals, love them. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love them to pieces. Like if I could have pet squirrels, <laughs> squirrels. I love that. Squirrels. But I hate the word. Squirrels. Anywho, right. it's all right. uh, there are so, worse yeah. words in English. Kind of. Uh, oh yeah. Sure. Vulnerable. 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 Welcome to today's live stream where Chris and I go <laughs> around uh, with the words that we can't pronounce for some reason. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, more along the lines of the T and ST25 in terms of like more traditional specs. So we do have the Roswell uh, humbuckers. Uh, splittable, uh, sp splittable, splittable, too. yeah, 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 both Talking of them, the words. both of them, uh, yeah, this one, yeah, yeah, uh, splittable, splittable, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but we do also have the stainless steel frets oh, and uh, several cool things on the back of that specific guitar, which are the uh, vintage looking uh, locking tuners, which is absolutely awesome because I love that they're still vintage looking from the front, but then hey. It's like the mullet. Hey, look at me, y'all. <laughs> it's like the mullet of guitars, you know, all business in the front party in the back. <laughs> um, we do have the caramelized neck as well. Uh, the flame is a little bit less pronounced on this one than what you'll have on, on Chris's guitar later. Um, you stop killing me. <laughs> just, uh, wait, then I'll start reading the comments. <laughs> um, and and cool thing that I didn't see that before uh, the twenty fifth uh, badge on the uh, the toggle switch cover, which is absolutely awesome. Um, <laughs> try it, try it in German. Nope. <laughs> you know what not. I love the <laughs> barcode on the headstock. Did you see that? There's a literal barcode. Oh yeah, that's true. 
That's crazy. Oh, that kind of ruins the experience. For no, me. I love it. I yeah? would so want to scan it. Like, do I have an app for that? <laughs> Um, can you uh, demonstrate the range of the tone controls as well Uh, yes I will absolutely do that with my jazz skills while Chris regains his composure and and his uh, I'm a professional (laughs) I'll I'll, uh, I'll play along with the uh, the tone knobs on this one alright is it tuned (laughs) in a second I'll play along with (laughs) Hey, it's in tune enough. Yeah, it's good I did, for rock I, and roll. I did something before we started. The <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> it that worked out for a while. It didn't survive you. <laughs> yeah, it didn't survive my a bands. A million bands later on brand new Never Play Strings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, those, fair enough. Those are still stretching. Uh, wait, what did you have on? That was I the had the Pontheon and the BB preamp. The, the exotic. Pon- uh, yeah, exotic yep. BB preamp and the Pontheon Deluxe. As well as a little bit of a, a reverb, always. Always and forever. Uh, t- Dude, tastily, that was tastily applied. So... Good. Uh, that just sounded so like chewy and tight and creamy and like, it was all beautiful. The words. I, I it was it was so much fun to play to be wow. honest. Like I really really enjoyed that. Uh, Steve is saying it does chords and lead. Yes, it's all in <laughs> to the, the extent that I can lead something. Can you do the sax part from Careless Whisper? <laughs> <laughs> can you? Uh, is the question. I forgot, I, I knew how to play it at some point, but now I'm not going to do it. Uh... <laughs> now it's bugging you, now I see. You really want to... Yeah, it's like... Nail it. Ah, that one! Uh, yeah. I, I assume, I assume that's going to be that, that, that one. Um, but... Okay, channel your inner slash. I wish I could. I wish I had an inner slash. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think mine uh, mine went on holidays. It just like went to buy a pack of cigarettes and it never came back. Uh, but uh, Chris will do a slash. He's good at the slash thing. But then um, with this guitar. Someone was asking earlier to talk about. I can't remember if it was in French though. Uh, yeah, Eve. Eve uh, wants to talk about the locking tuners. Yeah. They uh, they are tuners that lock. <laughs> uh, but they do and it really believe well. Believe it or not. 
No, they, they function just like most modern uh, login tuners. So they work from the back. The wheel uh, is on the back of the tuner. So what you do is like you unscrew it, you go, you pull the, thre- the string through. Oh my goodness, why oh. is that hard today? String you pull the string, string through, through uh, the, uh, the peg, like the, the pole on this side. Then you lock uh, with the wheel in the back and then you give it like a turn, a turn and a half or whatever you need to uh, tune it. Uh, yeah, it's a very convenient so, way. Yeah, but like it's the modern uh, take on like it's not you know the locking from the top and uh, that kind of thing, uh, but still very traditional looking machine heads, which I really enjoy. Uh, I mean, does it even wah, bro? <laughs> it doesn't even wah. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I I I don't know. I can probably find a wah somewhere. Oh and, yeah, and you try definitely it out. can. We um, have at least one here somewhere. But yeah, no, a really enjoyable guitar to play, uh, super uh, responsive, like even the, the bridge didn't go dull, like I had the tone at like two or something when I was playing the first chords and it was absolutely fine. Obviously the neck with the tone on two was just jazz, uh, so maybe didn't have the right tone for that, but very, um, can you play clean on the S, can I? <laughs> can Wait, he don't? Can that is a that's very a, good question. That's a fair question. Not I sure just, if he can. I just don't know if I've ever played clean. Hey, honestly, for the bends that I did on it, it's very fine. Like, okay, I'll give you just a little bit of clean. Uh, no drive at all. I know. Uh, I, I, you'll get some medicine after. Don't worry. Does it wonder wall? I don't know. I will not check. I will not. Uh, yeah, really nice guitar. It feels weird to play clean. I'm just not used to doing that. Um, Chris is going to play clean now. And then he will channel his inner Noel, Liam Gallagher. One of them? Both. Both. <laughs> Both of them. Um, yeah, you should play your guitar a bit. Play your guitar and then we'll talk about it for exactly three minutes because it's almost five already. <laughs> oh my goodness, that went fast. All right.
Somehow what? that was less annoying. <laughs> I just know, I'm just so used to you doing it with gain. Um, oh, guys. Uh, Steve saying, great guitars and, and playing, guys. Thank you for the demo and stream today. Thank you so much for being with us, Steve. You were yeah, absolutely yeah. awesome. And uh, we love you. Um, and we agree, uh, surprisingly, good guitars. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. at this point, it shouldn't be a surprise at all because I don't know of any Harley Band model that didn't get uh, upgraded to a point where it's just a, it's just a joke at its price point. Like, how can that even work? And it's, you know, it's, uh, it's quantity. If you produce a lot of guitars, yeah. you can, you know, pull those prices lower. But even then, if, even if you follow the logic, Harley Benton is doing a really damn good job at, at offering, you know, great stuff. And uh, especially the standard models, which I've heard a lot of people screaming for, like, give us a, a fusion level TE or ST, no, not this one, the other one. Yes, uh, oh, or I killed my mic. Hey, Mike. All of them. Hey, let's uh, let's go back to. Yeah. Where um, um, and now you know with the anniversary model, it's really weird to hold my. Uh, the mic like that, yeah. <laughs> I put it back. Um, it's it's just great to see those getting the, the you know the modern treatment of fusions and um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, to I'm all the last minute, to all the last minute requests we had about the guitars that were marked as sold out, they will come back. They will come back. They are limited to this year, so you have until December. There will be shipments. The guitars will come back in stock and on the website, and you can order them at that point. Do not worry about it. It will be coming back very soon. A uh, couple more questions about the neck. Uh, profile it's a modern C on the SCT and ST on the fusion it's the fusion neck profile which is a little chunkier uh, and a different yeah. sort of radius but it, it's a uh, uh, not radius but like neck uh, progression dare I say uh, really really nice uh, Melanie was asking if we could do a Q&A live stream eventually at some point maybe soon uh, yeah, sure. absolutely. absolutely. We're, we're super down to do that. We'll we'll do it. You know what? We'll we, do it. We did we'll a couple of those sold. many, many moons ago. Moons ago. ago. <laughs> many moons ago. <laughs> and uh, we we should do it again. Yeah. Right. So uh, let's let's make that happen and let's uh, sort of um, you know make that public that you guys know about it that it's like in a week or something and yeah. then gather your questions and make sure to be there or or just write a comment that we know you know what your question is we can maybe. Um, answer it and address it, and then uh, we are all going to be much happier than before that. Absolutely. Um, the plan, at least. I saw, I saw some more thank yous and whatnot. Thank you, guys, as always. Thank you. Uh, we, we wouldn't be having nearly as much fun if we were just playing together. Trust me. It's just, <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, but we have to. So. <laughs> I hate I'm him, joking. but you know, it's you know. No, but it's in my uh, contract, I have to deal with it. Those live streams are absolutely awesome just because you guys are here. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel if you don't want to miss out the next one. We usually do those every other week. And we put out, what is it, like 100,000 videos per week? Per now. day. So per day. per day. So don't miss out on that. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell. And uh, yeah, thank you again very much for hanging out with us. It's been an absolute pleasure. We'll be now jamming in A flat. No, in B. In B. Why not? Uh, okay, A flat. No, B, okay, B. A flat. Why? But, no, B, why. but B minor. Yeah. All right. Deal. Love you all. Gotcha. Take Thanks. care. Bye bye.